Ambition to me, I think it, it starts as a, a lifelong passion. Somewhere along the line, you've got to have a dream. Somewhere you've got to have set goals for yourself. Um, and the ambition is the drive in which uh, somewhere is instilled in you. Uh, for me, it's from parents, from the people who I've come in contact through, from the, the accidental collisions to the uh, the old bosses or the people I found inspiration in along the way that have fed into that ambition. Um, you know, I think ambition is it's a little bit of a chip on a shoulder. It's to prove people wrong. Um, it's maybe to prove yourself right, um, but at the same time, it's to um, put your best foot forward, and you, so you don't look back with any regrets. You know, I look back at well, if only I'd. Or if I don't want any, I don't want to have any of those moments, you know. Um, you know, when you reflect on you know, a life, you know, a path, um, you make the most of it, and you say, "Look, well, I, I made those decisions. I live with them." At the same time, it's that ambition that continues to drive you and push you forward. So, are you ambitious? I, I would say yes. <laughs> I mean, if I wasn't, I don't think I'd I, I'd be um, sort of where I am today. But I think. The ambition doesn't stop, you know, it doesn't, you don't sort of sit here and go, okay, great, you know, we're, we're running an NBA franchise, terrific. The ambition is to, for us here, and it's not just me, it's hopefully my ambition translates to, to my peers they come to work with every day, and, and again, I get enough feedback from them and their drive and their ambition to sort of like, how can we, how can we change this? Uh, you know, again, it goes back to, you know, maybe there's a little bit of proving people wrong, um, but again, it's, it's having that drive, it's having that passion, you know, to do something, in, in this case here, do something a little different. So why do you think you're this way? Um, gosh, you know, I, I guess it would, it would definitely have to go back to, for sure, you know, mum and dad. Um, I think it's your upbringing, it's right, it, it's, you're growing up on the North Shore in Auckland, uh, in New Zealand, it is a far cry from Brooklyn, New York, so it's, it's quite different. So. Um, could I have written this script and said, hey, in 40 years you're going to be in New York, living in New York, you know, with a beautiful family and four kids and a wife and a dog? Probably not, no, but, um, you know, I think, I think, again, ambition comes from all the different interactions you've had, um, and, and I don't think you can put it into one, you know, um, one specific event. I think it's more along the lines of, the people that have inspired me. So, um, again, I've mentioned whether that's from parents, whether that's from your first coach, whether that's from your, you know, your high school experience, your college experience. Um, again, being, you know, I've been very fortunate to be around and having, you know, rubbed shoulders with, with a lot of, you know, my idols growing up. And said, man, I, I can't believe I now have got a chance to sit next to them, have lunch with them, rub shoulders with them, meet them, pick his brain or her brain uh, on things like that. So. Um, the ambition, you know, the ambition, I guess it's almost like a, a snowball, you know, going down a hill. It should continue to go. I'd hate to think that you're ever satisfied. Um, I'm not sure I've met too many people who are successful that ever are, who, people who are driven and, you know, and have the ability to inspire others. You don't often hear that they're sort of like, okay, great, no, it's, it's great, it's done. <laughs> they're always constantly looking for something else. Uh, and okay, yes, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but maybe you don't quite ever reach that light, which I'm totally fine with. But along the way, um, we'll have some pretty neat stops. That's great. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Gosh, the most ambitious person I know, I mean, okay, in my field of work, uh, you know, I'd say one of the most ambitious people I know would be you know, R.C. Buford, who's the president general manager with the Spurs. And by ambition, I think what struck me with him was his curiosity. Um, along with being ambitious to break the mold and to do things differently, it was his curiosity that helped um, drive him and to find those paths to look perhaps somewhere where other people didn't look um, you know I, I think there's players that I've been around over the course of, uh, of, of my career that have struck me as being very ambitious you know ambitious on the court they're able to do something different they drive they want to 
reach their full potential. Um, I think people that say, hey, I'm, I'm gonna give 110%, I'm gonna be, to me, that doesn't make any sense. Like, if you can get as close to 100, you know, because there's, there's nothing worse than saying, well, I gave 95 and I fell a little short. No, no such thing as giving more than your max. Um, do what you can and inspire others along the way. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? <laughs> um, gosh, is there anything that would, you know, you know, look, I'm very, very fortunate to be in this um, situation, this predicament with, you know, my owners and where they've given us a platform here in Brooklyn with which, you know, sort of, hey, you know, I wouldn't say it's complete autonomy, but at the same time, it's, look, we believe in your vision. Let's, let's go with it. And, you know, again, I'm fortunate because I've got the people that, you know, I work with. Um, they push me, they drive me, I think we push each other. Um, it's a very collaborative approach. Um, so I'm not sure that I could do, you know, I could be given anything more to become more ambitious. Um, I like having the obstacles along the way. I think that's, that's part of that curiosity of being able to do things, or look, find the loophole, find a way to do it. Um, I'm, I'm not a big believer in the like I can't or no or you know let's let's find a find a way to get it done you know um, and there's, there's got to be a way and we're gonna you know, turn over every rock you know all the cliches in which to try and um, try and get there.